ticha Hello everyone, welcome to class. I hope we are ready to learn a new thing today. I am your art teacher and once again I say welcome to our art class for today. Today the topic we are going to be treating is color. Color. And we are going to be looking at color, the approaches to the study of art and the different emotional and symbolic qualities of colors. The first one, what is color? Color is a sensation produced in the eyes as a result of the composed light ray, which is white light. This light is composed of seven colors in the spectrum, which are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. When a ray of light goes through a glass prism, it creates the primary and secondary colors called the spectrum of light. The color of an object is determined by the ray it either reflects or absorbs the ray of the spectrum. Thus, objects that reflect all the colors of the spectrum will appear white while objects which, which absorbs all the colors of the spectrum will appear black. Now, the approaches to the study of colors. We have five approaches to the study of colors. The first one is the physicist. The physicist. They relate color to its wavelength and intensity. And two, we have chemists. The chemists, they study the chemical properties of natural and artificial coloring matters used in the manufacturing of points and dyes. Three, we have the psychologist. They show how a person is affected by the colors he or she sees and how they affect one another. Four, we have physiologists. They look at the way the eye perceives color. And lastly, we have the artist. They concern themselves with color, vision, and pigments. They mix colors and dyes and find out that they behave differently from mixture of colored light. Now let us go to the emotional and symbolic qualities of color. One, we have white. White. white gives a sensation of brightness it also symbolizes purity or holiness next we have black black spreads gloom it also symbolizes death or mourning red red suggests friendliness it also symbolizes aggression and danger and green green reflects in between moments of stimulation and depression it symbolizes vegetation growth and life and we have blue blue suggests coolness it also symbolizes love and it is very good in painting rooms we have yellow yellow suggests hope joy and light are tenderness as well as uprising orange orange suggests sunlight readiness and anger and we have violet which is also purple like as a likeness with purple it is a royal color it suggests a combination of anger and depression that is what colors are all about Colors of different types have its emotional and symbolic purpose. Let us watch this video related to the elements of art as color. A lot of representational art attempts to portray the world realistically by mimicking three-dimensional space and attempting to faithfully render objects as we see them. However, many artists embrace a different reality. 
so-called color field painters of the 1950s and 60s wanted to reinforce the idea that the painted canvas is a flat, two-dimensional space. They made enormous, large-scale paintings that were often comprised of just one or two colors. Their art didn't represent the outside world or try to take you to another place. It reinforced the fact that you're looking at a painting. The bold, bright colors they used weren't meant to represent anything else. For them and the many artists they inspired, color is a beautiful and worthy subject all its own. Color is one of the seven elements of art, along with line, shape, form, texture, value, and space. When light hits an object, some of it is absorbed and some of it is reflected, depending on the materials the object is made of. The light that is reflected off of the object is what we see as an object's color. Red, yellow, and blue are called primary colors because they cannot be made from the mixing of other colors. However, the three primary colors can be mixed together to produce nearly every other hue imaginable. Green, orange, and violet are the three secondary colors. They are created by mixing two of the primary colors together in equal amounts. When you mix a primary color with a secondary color, you get a tertiary color, such as red-orange, blue-green. Every individual color can be altered by changing its value through tinting, shading, and toning. Tint is simply any color with white added to it. So red becomes pink, blue becomes light blue, green becomes light green, and so on. A shade then is created by adding black to any color. Adding black and white to a color produces a tone. Sometimes a work of art will be made up of the tints, shades, and tones of only one color. This is what we call a monochromatic color scheme. One way artists personalize their work is by creating their own very unique colors, tints, shades, and tones. Notice how the violet colors in this print by Anish Kapoor differ from the ones used by painter Morris Lewis. Is there one that has more tinting or shading than another? What do you think is creating the difference? One common way people categorize colors is by temperature. Reds, oranges, and yellows are referred to as warm because they can be easily associated with a warm sunny day. Blues, violets, and greens on the other hand are called cool because they often come to mind when thinking about overcast or rainy days. When cool and warm colors are mixed together in a painting, what is the overall mood or feeling then? Besides the weather, there are many other associations and feelings that colors can summon. Is there a color or a combination of colors that triggers a specific memory or thought in you? Understanding the effects colors have on you will help you read an artwork and develop your own interpretation of it. And when making your own artwork, knowing the effect colors have will help you control the messages you hope to convey. Okay, children, do not forget the seven colors of spectrum. They are the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Those are the seven colors composed in the spectrum. And also do not forget that it creates the primary and the secondary colors called the spectrum. Thank you so much for joining me in our class for today. See you in our next class where we'll be talking about another interesting topic. Okay, Bye. Good morning, class. Yeah. Oh, teacher. Take out your book. Okay, teacher. Then do homework. Give out teacher. Today is two. Okay, teacher. Ellen and Nesten. Give out teacher. Ten billion. Okay, teacher. Ten in now and. Give out teacher. Give back, give back.